Greetings once again, this is Dr. Bill Bailey and this is the Handheld Hack, the netcast. I started to say weekly netcast, it's actually quasi bi occasional weekly, <laughs> whatever. Uh, netcast of handheld devices, much like my G tablet here, which is the ViewSonic G tablet. And we have lots of stuff to talk about, so let's dive right into it. First of all, we are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network, techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on the Handheld Hack Netcast. Now, here's the thing. I'm a little behind on my netcasting through the Handheld Hack, so some of these articles are just a little bit old. Sorry. March the 19th, for instance, is our first one. And that is that the new Linux kernel 3.3 comes with Android code baked into it. Who knew they baked code? I didn't. It's just a figure of speech, don't worry. Anyway, this was cross-posted from the drbill.cc or .tv blog. I've changed the name, by the way, to officially drbill.tv so that you don't have to be confused when I say CCTV thecomputercurmudgeon.com, all the various ways I refer to it. From now on, it will be just drbill.tv. Done. Okay. Now, so it was posted there originally. I cross-posted it here to the handheld hack because it has to do with the fact that these Android devices are getting, you know, they're, they're getting their code into things like Linux. Dude, and Linux, Ubuntu Linux is actually working on a version basically he already has it in beta, where Ubuntu Linux will run on the tablets. So, the tablets are getting Linux code. Linux is going to be running on the tablets where Android normally runs. How will we keep up? I don't know. Anyway, Angry Birds in Space is out. And it is setting records worldwide. Worldwide. Blah. It's hard to say. 10 million downloads, dude, in practically no time whatsoever. Uh, and it was off the charts in over 28 countries only a few hours after its debut. Angry Birds Rock. Yes, I play Angry Birds because it's nice and mindless. It doesn't require thought, which is, that's my kind of game know what I'm saying. Anyway, Amazon App Store success. It looks like Amazon's Kindle Fire is making its App Store for Android pretty popular. They have passed Google Play in sales per day. Ooh, that rhymes. Google Play in sales per day. Yes. Anyway, the point is that's pretty impressive. Google Play is the new name for the Amazon App Store. Okay, or I'm sorry, the Google App Store. All right, so the Google App Store, now called Google Play, is where basically all the Amazon devices were getting their stuff. Now think about that. Kindle's Kindle Fire has made the Kindle App Store, the Amazon App Store, more popular than Google's, and Google's the one behind Android. Think about that. That's pretty cool. So anyway, <clears throat> according to new data released today by the Mobile Analytics, this was on March 30th, by the way, so it's a little bit out of date, like I said. Sorry. Uh, but anyway, they released this information, and they said that, here we go, to generate the figures, they examined the top-rank apps that have a presence on all three stores, Apple, Amazon, and Google Play combined. The apps average 11 million daily active users. The revenue generated in the iTunes App Store was, uh, if you set that at the 100% level, then compared to relative revenue generated by Amazon and Google, in doing so, they found out that the revenue in Amazon is 89%. And Google is 23%, with iTunes being the level of 100%, in other words, the comparison. So there you go. That's very confusing, but that's because it involves numbers, and numbers are relative in my world. 
Okay. Next item, an open source tricorder. That is awesome. This guy, who has a doctorate in cognitive research, came up with a handheld device that is a basically a simple tricorder. And he's released it to open source so that people can write apps for it, essentially, open source type apps, and make it an actually functional, useful tricorder which is cool. So we're heading into Star Trekiness with tricorders being made open source. And particularly with regard to the handheld hack, you folks out there that like handheld devices and like to hack them, this is an opportunity. Go out and get references, tricorder project website, get the plans, build your tricorders, start developing apps, and you'll get us to Captain Kirk's time before we know it. Yes. First, you have to work on a warp drive. Just saying. Actually, you might as well just work on the impulse drive first. You know, get us out to Saturn, and we'll build a base on Titan, you know. And then you can work on the warp drive. Let's not get our cart before the horse, or our warp drive before our impulse. <laughs> yes. So anyway. <laughs> Abbreviated netcast, yes, hasn't been as much news, but good stuff. And an assignment for you to go out and work on your open source tricorder stuff, your apps, whatever. Start hacking. Because remember, you're only as good as your last hack.